What's up beautiful people, I'm Lars from Hempel and Fermont and this is not a tutorial, it's more like an idea, a tip, a review. But it's definitely immensely interesting information for any composer nerd. I found a promising screen and I'm going to be brutally honest, I'm going to share the good, the bad and the ugly. What we have here is a Huion Canvas 20 and it is quite a big screen. It comes with a stand, a very strong stand, so it does not wobble at all. And uh, you can pull the screen up and down. Also, this screen is, uh, is a matte screen, so you don't get any glare. And it feels really nice if you um, draw on it with a pen. Oh, and you get this pen, of course, um, with about a gazillion extra nibs in case you swallow one even though they are not digestible so you will eventually get them back it's kind of a hassle to wait a couple of hours until you can retrieve it you get a free software to set up the screen whenever i'm writing with it it knows that the mouse is only moving in this area and it's not moving in any of my other screens so the one downside to this screen is that the surface and the actual screen are a tiny bit apart. So it doesn't feel like you're actually touching the screen with a pen. It's not like on an iPad, for example, where you really feel that you're touching the screen. However, I got used to it really quickly. And actually what I use it the most for is to improve the communication with the director. You can simply draw these beautiful graphics and send them off to the director. And it really takes the communication to a whole nother level. It is way more personal and you can really show the director what you're thinking. Now the way I use it is mainly to write automation lines. I find it super difficult and annoying to write any type of automation with the mouse and I feel like I get a cramp after a while because it's not as accurate. It works of course but I just don't feel that I can do it really fast. And with the pen it's super simple, it's super easy, it's very accurate. And also I programmed these buttons here um, as a scroll up and scroll down. So with my key commands, um, I can really stay in this area all the time and I do not need to switch back and forth with the mouse. So um, I can zoom in, zoom out, go right and go left and then write the automation lines with this one. It's, it's very handy. There is a problem with the reaction time of Cubase. You can see the first centimeter nothing happens and then it picks up the pencil. But I found a way to work around that. I simply tap the pencil once before I draw the line and then Cubase picks up the pen immediately. However, I do not use this for anything else. It, it would be ridiculous to say that it improves my workflow in any other way. So to sum up, Huion is thinking ahead with the nib situation, it improves the communication with the directors and you might or you might not want to have one. I hope this was helpful and it, if it wasn't then I don't know, but if it was then you're very welcome and you're more than welcome to subscribe to our channel and like this video and also follow us on our, on our other social media platforms because they're just so pretty and nice to look at.